So still with this observer up here on the high ground, keeping an eye out just for any kind of shenanigans going up there. And he still has this SCV in here in the middle at the Zelnaga Tower. There's no reason Next Genius just can't push out here for a second, claim that Zelnaga Tower, and have his uh, at least <coughs> at least one Zealot at that Zelnaga Tower for vision. I mean, he does have an observer in his base, so he's not really worried about any oncoming push. But a, oh, a scan goes down. He picks off that observer, and in there with the eagle eye, seeing that little uh, distortion in the on the screen there that the observer makes whenever it flies across. He does see that and he does scan. So we have mostly Marauder and Viking Army out for Ensnare. And we actually have a drop here, uh, Medivac coming in, doing a little bit of damage. And oh, almost losing that Medivac, dropping those units. Maybe try to attack her from the high ground. Doesn't look like he got, actually he had two kills on that Marauder. At the same time he got that scan off. So we have uh, two probes up here, this one just kind of keeping an eye out. He's going to try and hide, but he's in vision of that medevac. So with three Colossus now, no upgrades for for Genius, except for that range upgrade. And then another Colossus coming. He's got his army separated very nicely here. He's got uh, some Stalkers and Zealots and Sentries down here at the bottom of his base, and the other half of his army here at the top to defend against these harasses that Ensnare is definitely known for. We've seen him do medevac harasses on almost every single game I've seen him have a replay of. Especially in the GSL, so getting quite a few Vikings out right now. He has about five Vikings out right now, but there are four Colossus, so I don't know if this is going to be enough. Genius pushing out and taking out these destructible rocks at his gold. Most likely gearing up to go for a third base. And another starport over here in the very far left of his base. <coughs> making some Vikings and, of course, one or two Medivacs. <clears throat> so Ghost Academy is finished. We'll probably see some ghosts coming out for that EMP. Definitely an extremely powerful spell for the Terran players against the Protoss players. So oh, here we go. We have some. We looks like we're gonna have some more Phoenix action going on. So this is definitely Genius's uh, strategy he's going for here. We saw him use this in Zelnaga Caverns. He went for like a, a small warp gate army transition into uh, four or five Colossus, and then added two Star Gates, and then just made a bunch of Phoenixes to try and control those Vikings. Because, of course, the Vikings want to be focusing down on the Colossus. With mostly Marauder Army, he won't have anything else to deal with those Phoenixes. So he's going to have to have a huge number of Vikings to deal with this. So we're going to see a bunch of Phoenixes starting to be pumped out here. Both of them even being Chrono Boosted. And they are being rallied up here to the front of his base. So let me check out the uh, uh, economy right now. So our Protoss player in the lead with four Harvesters setting up his third expansion. And our Terran player actually expanding back here at the exact same time at the island. One of the benefits of being a Terran player, you don't have to build any kind of uh, transport units or upgrade anything to be able to expand at an island. So it's very, very handy feature for Terran players. <coughs> so Incinerator, seeing a little probe in here doing some scouting. He does see that this Destructor Rocks has not been taken down, so he does not have the gold. So two more warp gates being placed, and he has quite a few Phoenixes, so... He's getting kind of the number of phoenixes he wants. He's got more than enough colossus, and we'll probably see him push out with an attack here with these phoenixes. And this is not going to look good for Ensnare. He doesn't have any takes at this point, but he is a lot more Vikings than he did last game. He has one uh, one ghost up here, but it doesn't have enough to EMP. He wants to wait for this ghost to finish. He wants to wait for enough uh, energy for an EMP. And genius seeing the mass number of Vikings he's up against decides he doesn't want to go to him doesn't want to attack. He wants to maybe fall back and get some more AA to deal with those Vikings. Actually, there's a drop back here. Instead of doing a drop, uh, Genius pulling his whole army back. Focus picks off that Medivac first. Uh, there's no ability for those Medivacs, uh, that Medivac to pick up those Marauders once he's dead, and he picks off all four of those Marauders, so that was a relatively annoying harass. And Genius has seen this building over here this barracks for the for the longest time and he hasn't went and killed it this barracks is just like the luckiest barracks in the planet i guess genius isn't too worried about it but uh he's picking off a little bit of transfer right there that scv transfer over to the right another scan going down right there picks off that observer and he finally is going to kill his barracks that barracks did live for a whopping 21 minutes unfortunately dying so a huge viking army flying around Let's see if we have any upgrades for getting for any players. We actually have the armor upgrade for air. Where are those phoenixes at? Doo -doo -doo. There we go. He actually has the 1-1 one, one upgrade for his 
air units and no upgrades for his warp gate units. Very interesting. Uh, and we have a big fight going on there. So many Vikings. EMP went off right in the middle of all those units. That was a great EMP. So many units with no shields. And these Vikings are just crushing those Colossus and those those Phoenixes. So now with basically Claw, uh, Viking and Marauder, he totally fought back that whole push by Genius. That was great defensive play by Ensnare right there. <coughs> all he needed was... <coughs> Gotta get another drink here. Those two ghosts being extremely extremely critical in that fight. Two great EMPs. You saw all the shields gone on basically 90% of his army. And those Vikings cleaned up those Colossus and Phoenixes so extremely quick. Let's check how many Vikings he actually has now at this point. 20 Vikings, 17 Marauders, and two ghosts. Of course, two Medivacs in there thrown in there for a little bit of... <coughs> healing for those marauders so stimming up he's going to try and maybe pick off some stalkers as he's running away with those concussive shells and uh, the marauder or more well known as the firebringer i think in korea that's what they like to call it and we may have another emp right there in the middle that great emp on the front of all those units getting all those shields and those feet those vikings coming in destroying that colossus destroying the phoenix and then falling back he did his damage he's going to try and run away now so, Insyria is going to need a little bit more of a ground army right now. It looks like that's what he is transitioning into with a bunch of tanks. And these Vikings are actually flew right over all that army. That was a big mistake there by Insyria. Losing so many Vikings. Oh, he doesn't have blink. He's still killing so many Vikings. Wow, he just lost. Oh my gosh, he's down to six Vikings pushing up here with his entire Marauder Ghost Army. I didn't see any EMP goes off, but he's, he lost every single one of his Vikings right there. Oh, that was a horrible misclick. And now Genius with the better ground army is pushing into this base. And he has a siege tank, but he did not siege. He's just running up there doing some damage. And, oh man, Ensnare went from uh, great to horrible with this that one play right there. Losing all of his, all of his, his, uh, all of his Vikings. Wow. So Ensnare definitely in trouble. As far as bases goes, Ensnare is in the lead. He does have four mining bases. Actually, never mind. Genius does have... Uh, four also. Actually, their mains are mined out for both players, so they each are only mining on three bases. So, Ensnare is transitioning out of those Vikings and into a, a quite a few number of tanks. He's got two factories down, throwing up a bunch of bunkers and missile turrets. So, Genius is making some Phoenix. He doesn't have any more of those Colossus. He's sticking to Immortals. That's a great transition by him. He doesn't really have to worry about those Vikings as much anymore. But some uh, Phoenix is picking up Grab Time Beaming those Siege Tank, uh, allowing them to focus fire on those Siege Tank. So many Zealots with charges eating up those those uh, SCVs. SCVs being pulled from the line, not doing too much of those bunkers, really uh, not doing too great. And uh, Ensnare, GG's. So Genius just kind of uh, getting a little lucky right there, making uh, the best of a horrible situation. Ensnare did. Ensnare kind of miss micro those Vikings and lost so many Vikings there in the middle just to a little bit of a misplay. So out of the thousands and thousands of moves in Snare made this whole game that were really good, that the that Viking play just totally threw him off. He lost all his Vikings, and he wasn't really set up to defend against a ground army that came in after that push. So uh, congratulations to Genius winning this best of three, and I'll see you guys later.